In this lesson, we'll create separated floor structures for all the rooms on the ground floor, but first we'll need to create proper composite structures. Go to Options, Element Attributes, Composites. Select the concrete floor insulated with parquet structure. Push the Duplicate button, enter the name Parquet Floor Insulated, and click OK. Remove the plaster gypsum and the reinforced concrete structural skins. Then select the concrete floor insulated with 10 mm tile structure and duplicate it under the tile floor insulated name. Remove the plaster gypsum and the reinforced concrete structural skins. Change the thickness value of the concrete skin to 60 and click OK. Now go to the ground floor plan and activate the slab tool. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the parquet floor favorite from the Lesson 14 Favorites folder. Set up the following parameters. Offset to home story, 0. Home story, 0 ground floor. Composite structure, parquet floor insulated. Show on stories, home story only. Check the cover fill's checkbox. Set the cover fill background pen to 0. Deactivate all surfaces overrides. Set the tags as non-load bearing element interior and flooring. Then click OK to close this dialog. In the info box, choose the rectangular geometry method and click in the two opposite inside corners of the load-bearing block skin of the walls of the main area. Now let's modify the slab to create the floor and the door openings. Select the newly created slab, click on any of its edges, and choose the Insert New Node command from the pet palette. Using the Smart Cursor, add new nodes for each door hotspot. Don't forget to press Shift to restrict the cursor movements. You can also just double-click all the necessary nodes. Using the Offset Edge command of the Pet Palette, offset the segments in the openings to the outside by 250 millimeters. When done, deselect the slab. In the info box, select the tile floor insulated structure, activate the polygonal geometry method, push the floor plan and section button, and check the use fill from surface checkbox. Then click on four interior corners of the finish plaster skin of the curved wall and internal load bearing wall. Select this new slab, 
and curve its longest segment according to the curved wall. Click on any edge of the slab and push the Offset All Edges button in the pet palette. Offset all edges to the outside by 20 millimeters. You can also simply click on any interior corner of the load-bearing skin of the walls. Finally, create two new nodes in the entrance door opening. and offset this new segment to the outside by 250 millimeters. When done, deselect the slab.